Hi guys, today we are going to explain about uh, VNV model. <clears throat> okay, in previous in waterfall model, waterfall model and spiral model. First customer, suppose Google, he will give you requirements, requirements uh, to his software company. So these are uh, requirements also call as an CRS. <laughs> comma bs comma brs or m or d now oh, crs means customer requirement specifications <coughs> BS means business specifications. BRS means business requirement specifications. MRD means market requirement document. <laughs> so we can call it uh, requirements of a customer as an CRS, BS, and BRS, and MRD. So actually, uh, most commonly used is CRS. CRS means Customer Requirement Requirement Specifications. Uh, actually, we have uh, three stages. Three stages to convert CRS to CRS to SRS actually in first stage customer will give requirements in business language That is, we can call it as an CRS. It will be collected by the BA in first stage. In second stage, <laughs> BA will convert CRS to the SRS. SRS means Software requirement specifications. In third stage, he'll give functional specifications. functional specifications for SRS so I said that uh, 
um, there are three stages uh, uh, in converting CRS to the SRS. So I am going to uh, explain them with an by taking an example. So we are going to take an example. The customer customer has given CRS not requirement collections and those CRS be registration registration page amount transfer amount balance loans and insurance See, customer has given the requirements for CRS for these features. I have said that uh, uh, the BI is going to convert a CRS to SRS. I said we have three. We have three stages. See, here I'm going to uh, going to explain those three stages with taking an example. Okay. Just we have a customer with City Bank, City Bank. He has given CRS. No, from here onwards uh, we should uh, say customer. Uh, sorry, requirement collections are sent CRS. That is customer requirement specifications. Um, the customer has given CRS like uh, registration amount transfer amount balance loans and insurance and so on so these are CRS is in a business language so now now what BA will do BA he gonna convert CRS to SRS that means software language so So that uh, CRS like uh, registration, amount transfer, amount balance, and insurance. And so on. See here now how BA will convert that uh, CRS to the SRS we're gonna see. by clicking on uh, if uh, any customer customer means that end user if any end user clicks on a uh, registration page means registration future means it should open registration page So now BI will going to is going to explain that uh, that the registration page should contain first name, text field. Here text field is in software language, and middle name text field. Here this is in text field is in software language. Ellen last name text field here text field is in software language so mobile number text field here text field is in software language 
हो जेंडर मेल फीमेल दिस सर्किल शेप्स आर कॉल्ड रेडियो बटन्स इट इज एन सॉफ्टवेयर लैंग्वेज एंड देन सी हियर इफ यू हैव यूज दिस रेडियो बटन मीन्स वी कैन चूज ओनली वन वी कैन हॉट चूज टू ओके दैट इज दैट इज कॉल्ड अ रेडियो बटन एंड देन वी हैव सबमिट and cancel here submit it is an button and cancel it is an button here this uh, text field uh, is an software language and uh, this another middle name text field is an software language and last name text field is an so this text field is an software language and this radio buttons are also software language and this submit it is also an software language and now we are going to the third stage third stage in second in second stage um ba converted this rs into the srs converted into the srs in srs uh, uh, we have used those uh, text field text fields radio buttons and button button type in example we have used this as software language so Uh, these these are called uh, this radio button and uh, and buttons uh, see we uh, we cannot have an 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 limit because radio button works at uh, it can select only one one option it cannot select two or more in button just uh, we have to click right and uh, coming to the text field uh, it should have it should have an limit okay it should accept to particular limit so so now uh, in what i said in third stage he will give he will means he means ba will give functional specifications functional functionality like see in sr it's we have that uh, first name text field and middle name text field and last name text field and mobile number text field and gender and submit and cancel See, functionality specifications means this first name text field. The first name text field should accept thirty characters. same middle name middle name text field 
would accept thirty characters and last name text field should accept thirty characters same like that mobile number also mobile number text field should accept 10 characters and gender only one radio button get selected at a time so I don't have a place I am going to use uh, this place and uh, this we have buttons right either one of them get click at a at a time so uh, this uh, this section uh, is called functionality specifications you know these uh, functionality specifications for a text field it should not be an it is not an um, uh, it is not an uh, this uh, this uh, text field text field uh, length uh, it is not fixed for every company so the company can changes the company can changes its uh, length of a text field according to their requirements so okay